Hi, my name is Olivier from Activity Messenger. And in this video, we're going to create a, an evaluation form for skill assessment using Google Forms. So I logged into my Google Forms, selected the course evaluation template, and then I adapted it to be an evaluation form for a skill assessment. And in this case, we're looking at a tennis player. So uh, we're going to put a title to it. I added a nice image as well, so you can make it uh, on brand by going to the customized themes here. I like to add a description just so the evaluator knows what they're supposed to do. So you can probably add more details in this example for, for your use case. Then we'd have the player's first name. I added a drop down menu <clears throat> where they will be able to select either the beginner at the, the athlete's level. Um, and then who is the instructor? So who's the evaluator in this case, uh, evaluating the athlete? And then we're going to rate the player on the following, right? So I built a question that's a multiple choice grid question where on the left we have the rows, which is the um, what we're evaluating for that specific player or athlete. And then on the right, the columns, that's all the options that the evaluator can select to rate the, the athlete. Next, what I like to add as well is like, uh, let's say in this example, technical checkpoints. So we might have uh, different evaluation standards that the athlete needs to pass or needs to um, be able to complete and do. Um, before they can go to the next level. So in this example, I added a checkbox where the evaluator can check all the technical checkpoints that this athlete has. Uh, next, we can add a star rating as well. So that's another option in the Google Forms that you can just maybe give an overall contribution during the session or overall attitude or whatever it might be. You can kind of add this type of question. Um, and then we'll definitely have the, uh, oh, I have this question twice. So if you have a question twice, you just the leader like this, maybe comments as well for the, uh, the evaluator to give to the athletes. So once this is all done and you like your form, you know, you put in your standards in here, uh, you, all you gotta do is click on publish, which will make it, um, you can now use it. And then I'm going to take the link and I'm going to go and fill it out. So as an evaluator here, I would come in and be like, okay, uh, I'm evaluating Tim. Uh, he's in the intermediate level. I'm at EVA, and then I can go and select the different options here. Um, these are the checkpoints that it's good. He's been pretty good during the class. And, you know, I could say great job, just like this. Now, what I do is I click on submit. Um, and because it's an evaluation, uh, either the uh, evaluator or a coach can click and submit another response for another athlete, or they can go and edit that evaluation form. So once that's done, I come back here and I now have a response here, which is going to give me an overall overview of all the athletes, but I can then go into link it to sheets. So what that does is I can now go into a Google sheets and see the different, everything that the different ratings uh, in a Google sheets here. The advantage here is it's going to uh, help you be able to say, okay, I want to filter, you know, I want to sort by column or I want to filter and show me everybody at this level, right? Now there's only one for intermediate, but like show me all the evaluations done by this specific instructor, right? Um, show me all the evaluations done for this specific child or, uh, or player, right? So it's gonna really give you a good basis to analyze the response and see how those evaluations are going. Um, and then once that's set up, you know, that's the link you would share with your instructors. You can go into advanced setting if you wanna change different things. But overall, this is a great way to uh, collect skill assessment and evaluations in terms of athlete per, per, uh, participants. Uh, it could all be sp also be students or even employees. Um, so I hope you found this helpful. If you want to automate this even more, this process even more with, with <clears throat> pass or fail emails, SMS, and just a more branded experience, you can visit activitymessenger.com.